Hello friends, one of the subscriber has asked me uh, how I can get uh, multiple uh, health, HTML health check files uh, to the email. Okay, here why I do this like uh, in my organization, we don't do health checks normally every day. For example, I am, uh, our company is getting uh, one client called KFC uh, to take care of their SQL servers. So uh, at that time, while the company is onboarding, so for the initial step, what we use, you know, we first uh, before audit, uh, editing, uh, adding them in, in our monitor, you know, in our monitoring tool, first we will perform some health check, either it is the follow, either the best practices are in force or not. So once it is, the, uh, uh, we will mention that changes. As per their requirement, uh, we will do some adjustments and according to the monitoring tool. Okay, so at that time only we will perform health checks. The second thing is the server is not performing well. So at that time we will perform, we will just cross check to cross check ourselves. We, we check the health checks. For that reason only, I, I didn't add sending all the HTML files in uh, this thing. To the email body so as of now uh, in the previous video i showed you how i can uh, generate this html file uh, for ms sql servers okay and if i go see this is how you, now i need to send all these files to the email here again i have two requirements i am doing health checks for 10 servers and i need to send all the files to the email one by one that's good we can also send that but what about if I have 10 or more than sorry to 100 or 50 or more than 10. So if I if I send all these emails, so there is there will be button on my SMTP server as well. OK, and that email emails so look very noisy. OK, so due to this reason, I made these uh, two scripts a little bit changes. So as per your requirement, you can use that one script will send all the HTML files which are there in one folder. Another script will send all the files one by one. What is there in that? Okay, all the HTML files only you can filter as per your requirement. And you can also use this video in other uh, sentence like uh, you, you, uh, you are having one files. You have to send that email over email. So just remove the HTML filter and fix the, the extension of that you can you can you can use that as well okay here i am doing where you can do this changes from your end as well from from which email id from this email id i am sending the emails okay to whom i am sending to this e2 email id is i am sending if you want to add multiple you just uh, copy and paste separated with the comma okay here you need to give the your password here you need to add your email id and here you need to give the password the same thing here as well okay uh, in this body as well you have need to give this uh, your password that's it and your, your in the email id this script will uh, give uh, will send all the files into one email okay this e this script will send all the files one by one one email, one uh, HTML file, like that. Okay, this is the one of the requirement. Now, first I have generated today, and tomorrow I have generated the files. Okay, at the time, what this script will do, it will fetch all the HTML files in one go. One, it means it contains today reports and yesterday reports and day after reports as well. But I don't want to do that. Why? Because I need only HTML files which are today only. It's for check for the, today only. For that reason, in the second step, first step you can uh, create the health check. In the second step, you can remove the this script will all remove all the files irrespective of all files. This script will remove only HTML files. This line, this line will remove only HTML files which are older than one day. Here I said as one day. Uh, now two days just like your requirement okay you can change uh, whatever whatever you uh, as per your requirement 
so in the second job step i used to configure this any one of the this line as per my requirement okay one once it's done it will remove okay in the third step okay and in our uh, uh, okay in the secondary it will remove all the html files which are older than two days or one day is whatever the number that we mentioned here after that i in the third body i uh, i kept this line okay this will send the email successfully as of now this sm i am not using custom smtp what's in my organization it is there okay so it's uh, uh, if you have smtp handy you can use that line why because in general in general nobody uh, like uh, will use username and password like this exposed to the in the scripts okay so they, that's the reason they use xntp but it's my home laptop that's the reason i cannot use that but i need to send that's the reason i'm using outlook as smtp okay in your organization if you want to follow the best practices yeah, uh, you can use custom smt if that not possible create one separate account for that user why because if you use the your credentials and some point of time you may lift your organization so again it will uh, once you lift all the scripts will get failed why because once you left organization the administration department will disable all your accounts okay so that's the reason it's always best practice to create one separate email uh, account for the sending the emails if you don't have sm your own smtp okay and like this is done okay and now i am just changing the password here i will okay and now i am just click executing here so now just wait here you can see the all emails see it was sent the one email another one now go to that email now see all the email all the files i got in one attachment only okay uh, now don't just don't open like this download all the files okay download all the files manually and open that you will get like this okay now i am just removing all the files okay now just close it now come to another script uh, you just uh, i am going to hide this as well okay now click execute now go to this email now just refresh see i got one email see i got here you got show see one two three three got him i got three emails one by one the same thing here as well so you can use as per your requirement okay give the credentials and uh, enjoy the video as well okay thank you bye and mean meanwhile i would like to make sure you are smtp size see this is my only two or three files for example if your html files is more than your smtp limit it might get failed if you have any other other limits as well make sure you are uh, you contact your exchange admin uh, to know about these limits if you are uh, these emails are getting failed so i hope you may enjoy this video thank you bye